By location is the mystical ability to be in two places at one time. According to tradition, some saints have had it. And now, based on payroll records, it appears that a high-ranking local law enforcement officer may have it too. But News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker discovered this guy may be more sinner than saint. Hey, Lieutenant, how you doing? Larry Barker, Channel 13. Meet Jason Katz, a 17-year veteran of the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department. Captain Matt Gonzalez is his friend and supervisor. I do trust him completely. The well-liked Jason Katz has risen quickly through the ranks. Today, he's a lieutenant over the BCSO's Field Services Division. Publicly, Katz is a high-ranking law enforcement supervisor, but secretly, the lieutenant is a phantom. News 13 investigation found Jason Katz quietly cheating the system by pocketing thousands of dollars that he did not earn. And records show some officers helped to cover it up. For example, July 30th, BCSO deputies conduct a checkpoint aimed at catching drunk drivers. Lieutenant Katz is in charge of the operation. But take a close look. Where's the lieutenant? We found him supervising the checkpoint from the comfort of his southwest Albuquerque home. Even though Katz was a no-show, his time card indicated he was here five hours. He pocketed $250 in overtime pay. And then there's the city's 4th of July celebration at the balloon park. Jason Katz supervised 20 deputies providing crowd control. Or did he? The lieutenant's name is scrawled on the sign-in sheet. His overtime is authorized, and he supposedly worked nine hours at double time and a half. However, according to deputies on scene, Jason Katz was a no-show. August 6th, another DWI crackdown. Once again, the lieutenant was a phantom. His time card indicates between 6 and 11, he was in the field supervising deputies. In fact... While the troops were busting drunk drivers, their supervisor was at home playing hooky. September 3rd, deputies conduct another DWI checkpoint. Everyone was here but the lieutenant. However, that did not stop Jason Katz from racking up five hours in bogus overtime. What's going on here? Well, our investigation finds since at least January, Lieutenant Katz has been routinely lying on his time cards. In fact... Deputies on scene at weekly DWI checkpoints say the lieutenant rarely attends these operations, but gets paid for it anyway. Drunk driving crackdowns are funded through federal and state grants. Rachel O'Connor is New Mexico's DWI czar. Would it be acceptable for a police officer to work an operation like this, for example, from their living room? I can't think of any situation where it would be acceptable for an officer not to be present at the checkpoint or saturation patrol. If an officer lied about their attendance there, that is a problem? Absolutely. Officers working DWI operations must sign an attendance sheet. The lieutenant is no exception. In fact, it appears Jason Katz was routinely present and accounted for. But this is an illusion. Our investigation found field services sergeants Brian Lindley and Josh Kingsbury covered for the absent lieutenant. Lindley and Kingsbury admit penning the lieutenant's name to attendance sheets, whether Katz was present or not. Sheriff, what did you find when you did an audit of these signing sheets? We found out that uh, some officers were signing them for other personnel, and they shouldn't have done that. Now, an officer's OT must be approved in advance. But did Jason Katz actually sign these authorizations? Well, we don't know. The lieutenant's signature is all over the place. In many cases, Jason Katz's name is simply rubber stamped on the form. Our investigation found since January, Lieutenant Katz has pocketed thousands of dollars in overtime pay by lying about his attendance at DWI operations. Captain Matt Gonzalez approved the lieutenant's overtime. Do you rely on the integrity of the officer uh, when you approve a time card? Yes. You're, you're making the assumption that they are honest and accurate. Absolutely. Do you trust Lieutenant Katz? Yes, I do. He's, uh, 
He's been a law enforcement professional for 17 years. He's never given me any reason to not trust him. Uh, I do not believe that he had any intent to deceive or defraud anyone. The captain says he did discover one questionable time card. When asked about it, Kat said it was a mistake. Once he admitted to the mistake, um, the five hours in question were paid back to the county. Mistake or not, Captain Gonzalez says time card fraud will not be tolerated. If it's five to six hours where someone's collecting overtime and they're not present, it, that's not acceptable and this department does not condone that. We took the results of our investigation to Sheriff Manuel Gonzalez. If they said they worked overtime and they did not, what is that to you? That's, uh, that's a crime. We caught up with Lieutenant Jason Katz two weeks ago. I'm going to ask you just point blank, Lieutenant, have you been lying on your time cards? No. You've been at every one of those saturation patrols for which you took overtime. Okay, I've worked them. Were I've, you there? Were you present? I'm telling you what I've been telling you before. I'm not being dishonest on them, and you can ask the sheriff if I can talk to you. Katz later refused further comment. Sheriff Gonzalez promised an investigation. There's an expectation for you to be telling the truth, so uh, it's a big deal. Uh, it is concerning, and uh, when we get down to the bottom of it, uh, it'll be remedied. If those allegations are true, um, then there will be a further action taken by the Department of Transportation, most likely in seeking reimbursement of that funding. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. Sheriff Gonzalez has told us that he has changed the sign-in procedures for deputies working DWI operations. Any officer who participates in a checkpoint must now sign their own name in order to get paid.